It would only make sense to do a night routine since my last video was a morning routine if you haven't seen that already It's like about sunset time. I have a checklist of things that I want to do I of course have to clean my room clean my space I've been trying to form the perfect night routine for the past few months We're gonna be doing self-care which to me includes skincare reading journaling setting a to-do list for the next day Eating good food. This is also my dinner. It is filled with a lot of fruits and veggies That's why it kind of looks like a gray color. It's supposed to be green I don't know if you guys can tell, but my bed is kind of a mess So I have to clean it before actually putting in the new sheets And I did wash that like two days ago, but just wanted to explain that Anyways I obviously don't do my laundry every single night But I just so happen to need to do laundry when filming this video I like to do laundry before going into my bed Because my bed is usually full of things that need to be going instead of the laundry The things that aren't, I just put back into its place I just refuse to get into my bed if it does not look put together. I don't like being in a messy space. I don't mean to sound dramatic, but I do feel like even though I work on my desk, the bed, which is probably the biggest thing in your room, is a teller of whether your room is clean or not. So when it's not, it can have an impact on my mood. Now that my laundry is done, I'm going to be doing my schoolwork and getting it all done before I go into self-care. And it's all online. I get to just study wherever I want. Today, I'm going to be studying on my desk. All these things I'm using to study, I will be showing you guys later for when I pack my stuff for school. And the reason that I study during the day is because I feel like my focus is better during the daytime. But not gonna lie, I have sometimes procrastinated and put this off until the night, which is not a good idea because my energy is low, which then means that my focus is low. Another thing that helps me study regardless of the time is probably using cute school supplies because I just want to like put my hands on it. Not only that, but also having a format on how I write my notes, I usually take inspiration from Pinterest and these classes that I'm working on now as you can see they are online so I get to really take my time with writing how I write there's many different studying techniques the one that I see is most common people using and the one that I also like to use myself is the Pomodoro technique which is when you work for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break and you do this four times there's a different technique the low time technique which is where you take one task and you work on it for as long as you can I do this for lectures since they're usually long which which is what I'm doing now and just taking notes from the lectures and the last technique that you can use for quick and easy tasks is a batching technique which is when you group tasks together and complete them all in a given time you can give yourself an hour or two <laughs> all done with today's homework it was just two pages worth of notes here's the first one here is the second page this one's on philosophy i need to pack my bag here's my backpack i did buy like a nice cute beige one it just like wasn't the vibe anymore once i put it on okay so of course i'm gonna be bringing my laptop which means i have to bring a charger for it and that's gonna go in this compartment of my backpack that's meant for the laptop last year i wanted to get the more hard classes out of the way so this year i'm actually not going to use fake notebooks these are the notebooks i'm going to be using it's going to be this one that i got from daiso these two notebooks which i got from amazon this one for taking i'm going to be taking my airpods for study sessions i'm going to bring my sony headphones which i showed in my back to school shopping video they were like 12 dollars from target my binder a little box that i got from amazon it's an imitation of the one that they have on muji and inside of this i have these mild liner highlighters that i got from target this pink one just for general highlighting red one to substitute for the fact that i don't have a red pen highlighting over the things that i would have written in red ink since it's mostly online it's gonna be mostly for me to see not for a professor too great black muji pen regular number two pencil charger i have my water this really cute little native deodorant and i have this little kylie skin lip oil little hand sanitizer that i got from bath and body works i'm not sure how long ago i got it but i haven't finished it which is the only reason i have not bought a new one okay that's all i'm gonna be packing for my bags and what we're gonna be doing next we're gonna have a little self-care night i don't go to this extreme every night obviously i don't always have the time For copyright purposes, I'm not gonna be playing my playlist for you. I'm gonna be playing it after I see some face mask I'm gonna be using, which is by Lush. And I used it in like my first video that I posted. It's great. I always use it. I have never changed. 
I might do a voiceover if this whispering doesn't work out. If you guys want to try out this mask, I'll have it in the description because it leaves my skin feeling smooth, clean. For sure, 10 out of 10 would recommend. and hair care in a specific order. I do my hair care first so I can have it sitting in my hair as long as possible. I left the cleanser on my face while I was brushing my teeth so it could really absorb into my skin. For any occasion, like when I bath or shower or washing my face, I always use cold water. It just fits different. It feels so refreshing. On top of that, it's better for your skin. Usually after I'm done with my skin and hair care, I just I go into my notion and I start planning out what I'm gonna be doing for the next day. And, and here's a little video showing you exactly what it is that I do. I just use a template from Notion directly. It is easier. I have been wanting to look into those where you can use someone else's template where it's actually kind of cute. Those just look like the ones I want to use. <laughs> So this is basically when I go to sleep once I'm done with my to-do list because then I can just wake up the next day knowing exactly what I'm going to do and that's what relaxes my mind. This is what it turned out like. Skincare, shower, take my greens, class and homework, workout, I need to get something cardio which is right next to my gym and then I play a little baby face because I always forget to eat. <laughs> and then I'm and then I just take it from there. That's all I got for you guys for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next one.